Well, here's a piece which process of work I've taped and I'm showing here. His name is uh, portrait number one. Is because uh, this is the first time I'm applying the whole process of work uh, that I have created for this piece and is uh, 150 by 100 centimeters. First step will be the drawing. It must be accurate, simple, precise, placing the right elements in the right position. I usually use a couple of horizontal or vertical lines to place the 10, 12 principal elements and around them I build the whole structure of the drawing. And then the first coat of paint that is going to need to be a thick one. This is going to put up with all the glazings, dozens of them that are going to come over it. Uh, it needs to be a simple depiction of the painting. It doesn't need to go into any details and the colors should be kind of softened. So the darks are going to be a little lighter and the lights a little not too light. So that, that way we're going to be able to go towards the details through the coming sessions when we apply dozens of glazes with different tones to finally enrich the texture and the quality of the skin. It is not a mechanical process. It is important to build an interesting face and somehow trying to create the volume that is going to be the base to build the whole painting over. It's also important to keep the transitions soft and avoid the hard uh, borders or limits. And then it is a turn for the daily work. Every morning when I come down here, I just sit in front of the painting and try to understand what it, it needs to be done that day. And then the first thing I do is a thin coat of linseed oil, as thin as I can. If I overdo it, I will have to remove it with my hand or with a soft cloth. But if you leave excess of linseed oil, it's going to be hard to work on it. And then uh, keep the distance, work from a distance, that's important, especially at the beginning. Just work like six, seven meters away from the painting or at least three or four and then see what is needed. Go there, three, four, breast strokes, whatever is needed, and then come back and forth, back and forth. That the, that's the base of this process. The interesting thing of this process to me is that it's progressive and additive, which means that we almost always add new things every season of work to what we have done before. I almost never cover what I had previously, which means at the end of the work, every little square inch of the painting is going to have a lot of information, a lot of different little touches of transparent light which will make this piece interesting if you do it right. The base of this process is to think every day you're working you have to think of the next session of work not of the end of the painting. That way every day when you come down here you're gonna see new possibilities open just because of you, what you did last day. But if you think of the of the end of the painting and you try to finish those eyebrows, those eyelashes, then you're going to spoil the whole process. The whole thing needs to move slowly towards the end. And that end, as Antonio Lopez, the great painter, used to say, will never come. Actually, it will come when, when you sell the piece or, or when the gallerist is demanding it for whatever is needed. But the truth is, it, is that it could always get better. Be improved and that's an important part of the process too. Also the fact of working with a previous really thin glaze of I mean a coat of linseed oil gives you a long time to work on each session. I can work from one to three days sometimes uh, the third day is the best one because the, the oil is getting kind of dry and so you have a lot of time to work on each session but you need a lot of time to to get used to the process of drying of the of the oil because it's not the same if you apply the painting in the first hours after you put the the oil than if you do it the last day when you've 
when it's been there for three days. These long sessions will also allow you to control better the process and to avoid uh, big uh, mistakes or, or problems. At the end, of course, I want this painting to be a powerful image from a distance. But I also want it to be uh, a very powerful image when you get to the skin of the painting, as my friend, my great friend, Eloy Morales, used to call it. When you get closer to the painting, I want you to appreciate all the transparencies, all the colors, all the, all the light, all the details that you can find there. And to me, that's a very important part of the painting, too. I also consider this process very flexible, too, meaning that, of course, in this case, I've used it for a very realistic piece, in case of this portrait. But I'm also starting to use it in different directions, not even realistic sometimes. And I think some people with a completely different language or approach to the art could use at least part of this process because it's very interesting and gives you a lot of tools to develop whatever you're doing. This will be the summary of the whole process and I will add shorter videos of every little part of the process, one including drawing and first approach, the other one palette and mixing colors, all kind of different things that I think that could be useful. But I couldn't put all those things in this video. It's already long enough and kind of boring. <laughs> I have to apologize for the lack of quality of the images. That's because of the camera is a really bad one. And of course, the editing. And that's my focus. I'm really bad at this. I'll try to get better in future uh, videos. At least I have the whole footage of the whole process of the painting, lots of hours. So I'll try to get videos of every single thing that I think could be of any help. I hope that at least uh, it could be of any help to any one of you who could be interested in what I do. And hope it will encourage you or at least some of you to do something similar so we can share all our different processes and procedures and enrich each other with what we know. Thank you very much for your time and attention. We'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.